morning. It's my honor and privilege to be here on the second day of Tech Munch. Today evening, we'll have our IDMA. Last year, Mr. Sanjeev Puri was the jury chair, and uh, he was at the IDMA Awards. Uh, this year, Mr. Harish Bhatt of Tata Sons is the jury chair, and uh, we'll be awarding the winners uh, tonight. Uh, yesterday, we had a power pack day of speakers. Uh, who range from people from the advertising domain, from the digital public policy domain, and from the artificial intelligence and technology domain. I'm simplifying what they were from, but the lines between what is pub public digital infrastructure, what is pl what are platforms and what is advertising and what are technology companies, all of it is uh, kind of collapsing, it is going away. I just want to reiterate what I said. I used the presentation made by Mr. Neil Kani some time back. And uh, the three things that I want you to focus is that India's digital transformation is fully under its way. Every month is a new month. Every month is new milestones. Uh, and you know, India's economic growth and India's digital transformation are going hand in hand. As we speak today, we are close to 700 billion of foreign, uh, forex reserves. Uh, you know, Financial inclusion has been a big theme. Uh, we are a large country, but we are still very underpenetrated in banking, insurance, financial services products. Today, thanks to um, the di digital public infrastructure in uh, payments, uh, we are, you know, we are really we have leapfrogged. The word leapfrogging applies to our uh, financial inclusion. And in 2008, we were the world's most unbanked country. And today, in the last nine years, what India has achieved would have taken 47 years to achieve. Uh, also, the price of data has fallen exponentially, and the use of smartphones is growing proportionately. Uh, we are the cheapest data in the world. Uh, also, uh, in the last six years, India has become the largest uh, volume of digital payment, which has happened through UPI and many other uh, platforms. Uh, also, while we talk of yesterday, we had our health uh, and wellness awards. India delivered 2.5 billion vaccine doses in just two years. But we use a very simple COVIN platform, which is a digital platform to deliver that. And India is making irreversible non-linear changes. From here on, there is only growth. Each change acts as an input to the next, leading to a combined uh, innovation. And this is, you know, I said yesterday, and I keep saying there are three valleys in the world. I'm simplifying. One is the valley of innovation, the valley of wealth creation, which is the Silicon Valley. Uh, then I say the valley of surveillance. I don't have to tell you where it is. It is on our northern east border. There is a neighbor called China who's, who does surveillance over everyone through various means. Uh, they collect data. Data is the new oil. Uh, and the third is what I call in India, as I've written an editorial, the value of public good. India is building UPI. India has built UPI. India is building ONDC. India has built COVID. There is DigiLocker. I can go on. This is all digital pub public infrastructure. And as Dr. Arvind Gupta yes, said yesterday, this is not rent seeking. It has been incubated with some corpus, but eventually, in a very equitable manner, it will make sure that the Digital public infrastructure is served through the stakeholders uh, paying for it in a very minuscule way. Um, so clearly, e KYC and Aadhaar laid the basis. And the statement that I focused on yesterday was in India, advertising dollars cannot subsidize the creation of platforms. That's where the government has come in and built uh, through Section 8 companies, whether it's a UPI, whether it's ONDC, it's in an early stages. Uh, India is well on its way to build a microtransaction economy for tier 2 and tier 3. The growth will come from Bharat. I also want to, because this is a digital advertising forum, uh, every year for the last 18 years we do the Pitch Madison Advertising Outlook, and for the last couple of years we do the Densu Digital Advertising Outlook. And already in IDEX, more than 20% of advertising is digital. Over the next 24 to 36 months, this is likely to be close to 40%. So digital advertising will become mainstream. It is already mainstream. 
uh, what are the issues? I mean, it's a very long presentation. I do want to keep to time. Our keynote speaker for the morning is there. But the biggest issue is quality of audiences, chatbots, um, and for publishers, um, how do we make sure that we get a fair, equitable share? Because there is a duopoly there. I don't have to tell you who are the two people who eat everyone's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so to say. So clearly for publishers, how do you build uh, an economic model that uh, lets you invest in the platform and the content? I can only say that we are in the 14th edition of ITMA, 7th edition of the Tech Munch. By the time we are in the 15th edition, the world would be a very different place. And the Web3 economy, uh, what is happening in blockchain, what is happening in artificial intelligence, is already making sure that the world of advertising, marketing, media is changing. There is very little difference between what is advertising and what is e-commerce. The rise of D2C brands is another phenomena which has made sure that the digital advertising grows leaps and bounds. Uh, we at Exchange for Media will stay at the forefront of uh, making sure that we bring you right trends, we bring the best practices, and benchmark the good work you do. Today's IDMA, the awards in the evening are a celebration of the work that you've done. It's been done through a jury process, a very high-powered and eclectic jury from all sectors and subsectors of the digital economy uh, came together to decide uh, the awards. I also want to use this. You saw that there is an e-forum programmatic awards. Tomorrow is the jury meet. Uh, Mr. Deva Brata Mukherjee, who is the CEO designate for Bata Bangladesh, is the jury chair, and we have a venerable list of marketeers uh, doing that. I also want to use this opportunity to say that the impact person of the year is in its 18th year, and over the next few weeks, you will see announcements in regard to that. The Exchange for Media News Broadcast Awards, which are in the 15th year, will happen on 27th August Sunday in Delhi. These are the uh, celebration of the good work that the news broadcasting system and the digital news broadcasting system does. All stakeholders of the news broadcasting ecosystem will be there. Last year, the INB Minister was the chief guest, and we will soon announce our chief guest for this year. I don't want to stay between you and the next speaker, but I just want to say that India is building a digital uh, public infrastructure layer which will help in adoption in tier 2 and tier 3 in a way that we haven't seen and the quality of audiences that are on digital will improve. The measurability on digital is getting better and better and it augurs well for the money that is being spent in it. I wish you a day of connections, of learnings, of insights and getting inspired by each other. Thank you. God bless you.